do not design your home network this way ever. Ever. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike, this is the Ultimate Tech Hub. Thank you for joining us, I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Once again, we're back with another awesome networking video. It's all because of you, the viewer and subscriber. We get a lot of questions in the comments, emails, from our Patreon supporters, and even our Instagram followers. And the majority of these questions are about home networking setups. And to be more precise, home networking setups that do not work. For instance, I get emails like this all the time. Hey Mike, I set up my network and I have no internet connection. I don't know why. I plug the switch into the modem and then the router into the switch. <laughs> or I get other questions like this. I plug the router into my modem and then the router into my router and then a switch into that router and then another router to that switch. And my network's not working correctly. <laughs> and I could go on and on, but I'm not gonna bore you with it. But to be nice about this, those networks suck and they're not done correctly. But don't worry guys, I'm here to help you. That's what this channel's for. So the first thing you don't wanna do when designing a home network is plug a switch into your modem. That's a no-no. And believe it or not, I get a lot of emails from people asking me if they can do this. And I always say the same thing, hell no. Plugging a switch into a modem is a big no-no. And let me tell you why. A switch cannot perform DHCP or NAT or has firewalls or port forwarding or VLANs or can't be managed, nothing. And everything I said the switch can't do, a router can do. So always plug a router into a modem, then the switch into the router. There is no benefit to plugging a switch into a modem, none. Well, maybe one, cost, because a switch is much cheaper than a router, but that's it. Okay, the second thing you don't wanna do when designing a home network is daisy chain your switches, layer two switches. Let me tell you why. While daisy chaining switches does work, there is no redundancy. And in networking, redundancy is very important. If you daisy chain four switches together and the second switch goes out, everything beyond that goes out. A total network failure. And while that's not a very big deal for a home network, because if you're watching Hulu or Netflix or Plex, big deal, it goes out. But having a small business and the network goes out, that costs you money. And that's why small businesses have redundancy or should have redundancy. Now I've seen many small businesses that look like home networks. They have a router, a switch, and that's it. But there's no redundancy. So if that switch goes out, everything goes out. And if you're daisy chaining switches and a cable breaks or a switch goes out, then you have a big problem. So how do you fix this? What's the key for redundancy? Well, I'm gonna tell you. First, let's talk about two things, access layer and distribution layer. Layer two switches or unmanaged switches are in the access layer. And everything connected to these switches is also in the access layer. Computers, consoles, TVs, whatever. Now above the access layer is the distribution layer. And that's where redundancy comes from. In the distribution layer, you want a layer three switch. And you're probably asking what the heck's a layer three switch? A layer three switch can do everything a layer two switch can't. However, there's a price to be paid because those switches are very expensive. They're beefy and they can do a lot of stuff, but you're gonna pay a lot of money. But in a small business setting, a layer three switch is a must. And I'll have pricing here for layer three switches and it may shock you, some are very expensive. So you have to weigh the price versus the benefits. And for a simple home network, a cheap layer three switch will do. Now let's talk about how this all works. So you have a modem connected to a router, connected to your layer three switch. Now from the layer three switch, it's connected to all of your layer two switches. Now for redundancy purposes, you may wanna have two cables going from the layer two switch to the layer three switch, just in case one cable goes out. That's called redundancy. So in a perfect world, you're gonna have two cables going from the layer two switch to the layer three switch. This way, if one cable goes out, your switch still works. That's called redundancy. 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 And like I said before, redundancy is the key to a reliable network. So the more redundancy you have, the better for your network. Because the last thing you want is a single point of failure. Then you can't watch your Netflix anymore, or play Call of Duty online, or shop on Amazon. And that's how it all works. So two things again, never plug a switch into a modem, and never daisy chain your switches. So guys, once again, I hope this video helps you understand what you shouldn't do when designing your home network. And if you do have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I answer all questions. 
eventually. And if you're part of our Patreon, which is $2 a month, I answer your questions automatically. So that's a great benefit for Patreon. So guys, we're all done here. Thank you for watching, I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. I'll see you in the next video real soon. Peace.